Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I am away at Minecon right now, so I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a tour of my single-player survival world. I haven't really shown you guys this before, and I thought you guys might be interested. So, the first thing I did when I created the world was I went around looking for a village. So that's that's why I'm in a village. I built my entire base around the village. Uh, I guess I should come over here and grab some ender pearls so that I can get around a bit more quickly. I have a lot of ender pearls because I have... Uh, I have an Enderman farm. Um, I'm actually turn the sound down a bit. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of a little bit poorly organized. <laughs> uh, I kind of have stuff a little bit randomly placed around, but I do kind of know where stuff is, and I can usually find what I need to find. Here, this will give you a general idea of kind of how many precious resources I have. Here's my Ender chest. Um, I make sure to always keep eyes of ender in my ender chest, by the way. Just, I don't know if that's a common trick, but it's something I do. Uh, it helps, means I can carry around an ender chest with me, and if I want to place it, I can grab an eye of ender, and I'll be able to make a new one. Uh, so what do we got? So this is my bed. This is where I... This is my spawn points. And nearby I have all these chests, all these furnaces and stuff. Uh, I have infinite water source. <laughs> um, here's my enchanting station. I guess level 30 with an anvil. Um, I have... I uh, kind of co-opted the farms that existed here. I Originally it was all wheat because I loaded this up I think in 1.3 before there were potatoes and carrots and stuff. So, I, But I added potatoes and carrots and all that stuff. I have uh, <laughs> kind of a little bit of an inhumane fat farm over here. Wow, tons of eggs everywhere. I didn't know the eggs were go, would go so far. I think that's new. I think that's because the eggs uh, are now spawning kind of a little bit inside the the slabs and that pushes it out. I'm not really sure though. That's interesting. But yeah, <laughs> a little bit inhumane, but <laughs> it's really efficient if I want to collect all the eggs and stuff. Um, and so I have my cows over here, my sheep, and my pigs. Uh, just a little bit, a little bit of a farm. I got a tree farm over here, although I actually don't use it so much anymore because I have a ton of wood. I have <laughs> uh, kind of a villager farm, also a little bit inhumane, but better than the cows, I guess. And it's got a lot of doors so that the villagers will spawn, or uh, will mate and stuff. It spawns, it's big enough to spawn an iron golem, so I can actually get uh, get iron out of that if I want. It's pretty easy to just kill it across the fence. Almost nighttime. Uh, this is my cactus farm. Uh, I have basically a dirt block next to each cactus. Let me get up here so you can see. Yeah, so I have a dirt block next to each cactus so that when it grows, it, the cactus that it has just grown just pops off and falls in the water. And it gets carried down here. And uh, I wanted the collection point to actually be at ground level, but I kind of screwed it up. So <laughs> I built a little thing here so that I can just step on this pressure plate and some pistons will push it up. And then I just have my chest right here. Um, have some quick and easy little pumpkin auto harvesting pumpkin farm. Uh, same thing. I have some cats. <laughs> Kitties. A nether wart farm. Same thing for reeds, for melons. Uh, and I, I usually just keep the chest right by the actual farm so that... Uh, let me just go sleep because though the area is well lit up, I'm kind of paranoid about zombies getting in and killing my villagers, so... Keep it daytime when I can. Uh, I have a... Uh, oh, interesting. This has been harvested. <laughs> I have a little auto-harvesting auto uh, uh, cocoa farm. I don't know how it got harvested. I think... Actually, so I have a mob trap right here, and I think when Endermen teleport kind of through... they can teleport through this pressure plate. This is the one that's actually active. And I think when they do that, it triggers the pressure plate and actually harvests it. So this is a kind of a, a cool mod trap. I like this one a lot. I might do a video showing this off in particular, but basically I can push a button. Oh, whoops. Uh, I don't know if that worked. I don't think it did. Yeah. You can kind of see right here, through this window right here, there's water that comes and pushes the mobs out. So they can stand on a surface, or they can spawn on a surface up there, and then they fall down. And <laughs> um, they're, at, uh, they're at one, or like one health right now. Which is kind of cool, actually, because it means... Because I have all these skeletons and creepers that are all at one heart. So if I come right here... Uh, nope. <laughs> this is risky. There we go. It's really easy to get records using this thing. 
Uh, I have... I have a few. I, I could get more if I wanted, but I just have enough, so it's not really a big deal. Um, I'm gonna pick them up. I don't like leaving there. If I can, if I got records, I might as well get them. But anyway, yeah. So they're they're a half a heart, so I can just I can just punch and kill them. The zombies um, zombies are at one heart, so it takes two punches to kill. But uh, still pretty good for experience. I I have a Enderman experience farm, which is better. But uh, yeah, I mean this this was kind of how I got my initial enchantments and levels and stuff. So, yeah, let's see, what else do we have around here? Uh, I, that's kind of mostly it for um, for the stuff I have around my base. It's just like a vine farm, if, in case I ever want to harvest vines. Uh, but that probably isn't necessary. I, I kind of want to show you this, because uh, yeah, basically all of this was jungle, and you can see that the color of the grass is jungle colored. Uh... I, I just tore down the entire jungle, basically. You can see a lot of the vines still, too. Which is, basically, I, I just, I wanted a clear path out this way. I didn't like having to go through the jungle all the time. I could have just dug a tunnel, but basically I just ripped down all the trees instead. Uh, but it's it's really nice to have this, because cats will spawn everywhere, <laughs> everywhere around here, and uh, and it's really easy to go find them and tame them. Although, they're not actually spawning right now, I guess. I don't really see any. But usually there's a ton. Uh, there's there's some kitties over there. I do love my kitties, although getting all the fish for them is kind of annoying. Uh, let me use my inner pearls to get back. Uh, I think I will show you guys my uh, the stuff I have in the Nether and in the end. Yes, yeah, so let me head over to my Nether portal. Um, I don't think there's too much more around here that I didn't already show you. So. Off to the nether portal, into the nether. So I have a nice uh, nice system set up here. Oops. Yeah, so I have a nice system set up here so that I can go straight from uh, one nether portal to the other. And I love this ice ice pathway. I can, you can go super fast if you just basically tap the spacebar a bunch. And then I have this nice little... Uh, fall. And so this leads right into the, right into the stronghold that I used to get to the end. And here we are. Go right into the end. And I got another one of these ice walkways. So that's that's like the, the you know the normal ends, but uh, of course I built I went out here to uh, to a place where there wasn't anywhere for Enderman to spawn to build my my uh, Enderman farm. So here it is. Basically there's ooh, did I stir at one? Okay, I'm getting the sound. Uh, but yeah, there's basically just a bunch of pistons up here. I wonder if this will kill me. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that worked way better than it should have. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's these there's these uh, pistons that that push this. And I didn't invent this. I saw it on Etho Etho's channel. But uh, basically, an Enderman just spawns here and then it gets pushed off. And it took me a while to build this, but uh, it's it's not too bad. And it's really cool because uh, the Endermen fall far enough to uh, basically take, or you know, have a half a heart of damage, so I can punch them. And I just have to make sure I eat. But otherwise, <laughs> I can get a lot of Endermen very quickly right over here. Notice I'm level 19 right now. And then there's these Endermen that like to teleport up on the roof. Uh, but I have this nice little kind of sunroof. <laughs> Let's me kill him anyway. Anyway, it just you can see in just like a couple seconds, I got three levels, and that wasn't even that many Endermen. <laughs> I, I kind of love doing this. But yeah, I, I, I come here pretty often to enchant. So much death. Yeah, I like this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's all of them. Oh, this guy. And this is where I get all my ender pearls. <laughs> but yeah, then I just have a little uh, enchanting setup over here. Uh, and an anvil, everything. Here's my ender chest. Very handy. More more ender pearls. Uh, these chests are all full, so I... whatever. <laughs> yeah, anyway. And then, if I want to go back, I use... I really love this thing. You can see how fast I'm going. It's very, very fast. And uh, just use enderpearls to get all the way back to my. Uh, oh my, that's a lot of. Um, 
Uh, you can see over, what is it, over here, I have my uh, my poor man Enderman farm built. It's got my lever that, you know, suffocates the Enderman and stuff. Uh, I used to use this. This was actually a pretty good way of getting experience back before I had my full Enderman farm, but don't use it anymore, obviously. And I guess there's some other stuff in the nether I could show you guys. Uh, I did build a blaze farm. Nothing too fancy, it's just a single blaze farm. Um, let's see, what's the fastest way to get to it? I have a, I have a mine, bit of a minecart system in here too. So, you can just hit that. Of course, I have to have some minecarts somewhere. I think this is my only, the only place that I actually have minecarts though, in this world. But, I do love minecarts. A lot of my early videos are about minecarts. So yeah, this takes me right to the blaze farm. Oh, I probably should have brought a fire protection potion now that blazes are actually spawning in here. <laughs> but it's fine. Alright, and then we're right here. And it's just up through this door. So this is kind of a manual thing, but yeah. The blazes, the only spot um, for the blaze spawner where blazes can actually spawn is just right in this tube. So they spawn here and then they fall down. And let's see if we can get another spawn in here. But yeah, I can just stand anywhere in this room basically and they'll spawn. And then once another one spawns, I'll show you. I actually don't remember. I think it's. I think they have 20 health, uh, 10 hearts. Yeah, I think that's right. So here's another one. So now I can just go over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh! too far. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I can kind of, then you can kind of punch them to death. If I, if they drop any blaze rods, I can usually either get them right here or by, uh, by hopping up and getting them through the corner. So I, I farmed a few blaze rods that way. I got some experience that way, but I don't actually really use it anymore. Just don't find that I need it. Oh yeah, I think that's pretty much it for what I got going on with this world. I've, you know, I, I was really lucky that basically the uh, the, the the fortress, the nether fortress, was right by where I put the portal. It was just, like, a few blocks away, so that was really cool. And then also the fact that the stronghold is just a straight shot uh, through, like, right by the portal. There's the uh, there's the ice, ice pathway that I was using to get back and forth. So, you know, this is one portal, the other portal is basically straight down this thing. And just kind of lucky at, that all of those things lined up so well. So, um, oh yeah, <laughs> the the, other, the the exit portal from this. I, I still think that's really annoying. How you have the like this is where I built my only portal, and then that teleports you to the Nether. And then when I came back, it was creating a new portal elsewhere. So I had to make another portal over here to so that I wouldn't be spawned at like. Um, coming back to the overworld way like 100, 200 blocks away. But you deal with it. I got some dogs, <laughs> some pet dogs. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've basically, I've lit up a lot of the ground underneath underneath this too. I've done a lot of caving. And that's why I get such good spawn rates from this spawner, uh, from this mob spawner up here. Oh, looks like it might actually be broken. Yeah, I think, so the water up here in this window is supposed to come when you push the button and then after a few seconds go away. Uh, I think if I just push it twice it'll fix it. Or something. I, <laughs> yeah, I think that probably did it. Well, maybe not. No. Uh, I might have to go manually fix it a little bit. But Anyway, I uh, thought I'd give you guys a bit of a look at my single player world. I know I don't really play much survival for you guys, and when I do, it's usually PvP. It's not really, you know, single-player survival Minecraft. So, I thought you might enjoy that, and made, I think it made, makes for a nice video while I'm off at Minecon. That's about it. Thanks for watching.